Hello, everyone, and welcome to the WCTV Executive Podcast. My name is David Cross. Hello there, world. My name is Sean. Hi, everybody. I'm Brennan. Matthew. Geez, you guys really took to heart last week when I said we can just be like David, Sean, Brennan, Matt. Yeah. Not Kyle, because he's not here. Kyle's Question, not here. did you Hi, say David. vodcast instead of vodcast? You know, I've noticed that when I say vodcast, I tend to fodcast it a little bit. Which just isn't a thing. It's not. A vodcast is a thing, though. Yeah, I'm worried about it. Yeah. Anybody have any funny... Oh, no! Walking Dead. We haven't talked about Walking Dead in a while. Oh, they did sneak peek. Spoiler alert right now, Walking Dead. Poor Brennan. Go away. I'll put a little graphic up that says Walking Dead spoilers, and then it can go away whenever we're done talking about it. So, that uh, like little section. So, the sneak peek. Yes. Who do you think died? Daryl's dead. Not even a question. That's what I think. That's what I thought. But the, I think it's too obvious. The blanket that was on him is laying on the ground. It's too obvious. They also no. said that Rick's right-hand man is dead. It's too uh, obvious. That might just be a reference to the fact that Negan's about to cut off his Yeah, right exactly. Hand. But hey, listen. <laughs> I saw a thing today where if you look at like the beaten up skull pieces, yep. there's like a ring. Yep, might be it. Maggie. Which could be Maggie. But I don't know why Maggie's ring would be by her face. Or why it's... Maggie why didn't it, have a blanket. Or why she's... Hit. Or and actually, Glenn, she and Glenn would be is, dead. She kind of... Uh, she kind of is his right-hand man, actually. Like, she... Dealing it's, with, a, it's also a valid point, dealing yes. Dealing with the, the guy that owned uh, the Hilltop Colony. Gregory, yes. yeah, Gregory. But Glenn would also be dead, because Glenn would not sit by and let it happen. I really want to make like a Snickers pun where it's like you're not you and you don't have Snickers, but I really want to eat the Snickers bar, so I'm not going to. Um, I could just knock out Glenn. Yeah, I think it... I don't know, I just, I'm still in there running for two people, um, but I was a big fan of the idea of that, or Negan... Kicking Rick out of the truck and then cutting his right hand off, but the only reason that I don't think it's going to happen is because like uh, AMC ran with that idea. Like they tweeted about it. Do you think they'll cut off Rick's hand? So I was like, oh, they're playing with it, so it's not actually going to happen. But how cool would it be that not only does Rick have somebody in his people or group get beat with a baseball bat, but then he gets his right hand chopped off. Yeah. That's like your girlfriend breaking up with you, and then the same day, your dog getting hit by a car. <laughs> That's like two bad things. Yeah. yeah. You're not wrong, but... I think it's Daryl. I stand by it. I've stood by it since it ha- since the season six finale. I'm going to be pretty upset. You said you weren't going to eat that. No, I said I wasn't going to give it to somebody to make that Snickers pun. You're not going oh. without the Snickers pun. Okay. I wanted to eat it. Gotcha. No, I thought I thought he meant he wasn't going to eat it too, Brad. No, I'm going to eat it. See, All right. okay. All right. Oh well. Enjoy. This, this podcast or vodcast is brought to you by. No, it's not. Don't even say that because mm-hmm. that's actually like a thing that it's we brought can to you by Sean's for. mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Snickers. You can't just. You can't just pretend that you're sponsored by people. Flame it hot, Cheeto. Flame it hot. All right. So what were you gonna say? Uh, you you keep you still think that it's like Abraham? There's no way. Well, he's on the left. No, he's on the right side. Could be Abraham. Could be See, the blood spat. Maggie's on the right side. The blood spat. Exactly. That's why I said it could be Maggie. It's probably from Negan just like going up to Rick and then wiping it on his face. It was like a perfect line. It wasn't really splatter. I didn't take it as splatter. And and whenever um, Negan asked Rick who his right hand man was, he looks to the left. So. Yeah. Because no, he looks to the left and then Negan goes, Oh, did I? And lifts up his bat. So. Yeah. He does that too. Mm. I like the idea of uh-huh. Maggie getting the bat and then Glenn going on like a suicide path. Because in the comics, Maggie, after Herschel dies, kind of gets suicidal and hangs herself for a little bit and they find her what okay so she hangs herself but she doesn't die well she hangs herself they but they find her before she suffocates and mm-hmm. cut, cut her down Carol uh, it's a pretty small amount of time Carol says she might kill herself this season that's not necessarily unless they cried or whatever what do you mean I mean you have like a minute dude yeah you have a minute, and it just happened that somebody goes there at the same time? Well, she probably didn't make sure that no one was around. They were, what, in 
Yeah, it's like when you go to pee in the woods, you check your surroundings first. And that's where she did it, was in the woods. Alright. I guess so. Anybody got any funny stories? Um, I want to hear a funny story. Ken, Ken Bone, yeah, man. Ken oh, Bone is the man this country needs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On to the presidential election. I honestly election. have no idea and why this Ken spoiler Bone graphic guy. gone. <laughs> I have honestly no idea why this Ken Bone guy is so famous now, but you know what? Because he's, like, wearing a Mr. Rogers he looks sweater. Hilarious. I mean, he had the red sweater yeah. thing and the, <laughs> no. the, white, the white tie and white shirt. The guy we should all be rooting for here is the guy that asked the question after him. Yeah, said, yeah. Can you all, can you both name something that you respect say, in the say other Say one candidate? positive thing, he, one thing that you respect. He, he, he looks like Alice from Alice Toy Barn. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> my thing is I was supposed to cover the Trump event today in Ambridge, Pennsylvania, but my media request got denied because Trump hates the media. That's funny. Uh, That's pretty funny. To he does hate the media. Be fair, he does say very things that shouldn't be said. As he says very opinion. things. Um, I'm trying to be as politically correct as possible without... He unscrewed something, and he's fascinated by it. There, Good job. Back. There we go. <laughs> I had a dilly bar earlier today. A what? A dilly bar. What is it? From, from, from Bill's? From Dairy Queen, yeah. Oh, yeah? We got our professor dilly bars for Saturday, and obviously it was hot Saturday, and we didn't have a freezer chilling. So he gave me the box to store at my house, and I ate one today, because he still hasn't come to get them. <laughs> Terrible person, eating those dilly bars. Charging him in interest. <laughs> dilly bar a day. Dilly bar a day keeps the... Clowns away. Clowns away. Yeah. So I guess we can talk about one thing right now. Uh, we've co- officially decided that the WCTV YouTube Gameathon for Extra Life will be November twelfth. Awesome. That's what we think. We don't have an official time. It'll be some time. It'll either start on November twelfth or start on November eleventh and run through November twelfth. So mm-hmm. that's up to us when we decide what we're doing. Yeah, we. We definitely get a lot of people in for that because people love video games. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I will be up here the full twenty four hours. I think Matt will be now because we discussed something earlier. I'll, I'll, I'll stick around. Talk to the Stover couch. We'll see. <laughs> so but, uh, you can what come kind on. of video games. Like, can I roll up here on my Game Boy Advance? I mean, we'll probably have some sort of webcam going. Donkey Kong Country during it. A full so, Mario baseball. So you could just sit there on the webcam playing Yo, your Game Boy. But Mario baseball. We should have a tournament. Mario Kart. Again, to play these, you need an AV to HDMI converter that I can plug into my game capture. We discussed this last time when we mentioned something. Yeah, I, I think I know a guy. I think I know a guy. Hey Siri. Google AV to HDMI connector. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Anything for you. Okay, well, he's looking it up. I'm not paying for it, so. Is he British? Yeah, he's a British dude. His name is Siri. Solely based on this. Hold on. Hey Siri, knock. Hey Siri. (laughs) Knock, knock. (laughs) That's the sole reason he's British, so you can do that Doctor Who fun. Cool. <laughs> Tell me a story. This case. Okay. Once upon a time, in a virtual galaxy far, far away, there was an intelligent young agent by the name of Siri. Okay, stop. One lovely day, Siri. We're having a, a podcast, not a Siri play. Which is very exciting. Very People said, oh, Siri, I can see how so long it is. So we can, you can too. play it later if you want. Everyone was talking about Siri. And there were stories and songs Will and you stop? About we're stories. having a podcast. Right, Siri, we'll talk to you later. All right. I'm not Stay tuned play along. <laughs> for the after show that doesn't exist. We can have an after show because oh. next week is fall break, so we could record an extra vodcast tonight for next oh. week as well if you wanted to. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, you're too lazy to do it. Though. So over fall break, I'm going to, on top of playing uh, my Game Boy Advance for Pokemon, which I'm definitely going to do, hmm. uh, I'm also going to write the scripts, the other scripts for uh, the Sports Showdown show. So we got to get that in motion. Yeah, make sure you have a question. Yeah, when's the first episode? Film enough after fall break. Cause we can't do have it. that question okay. about what broadcaster guy was there for the infamous chair throwing thing. 
that Lanny was a broadcaster for. Yeah, it was with the um, Bob Knight. Yeah, the chair throw. Yeah, where uh, Lanny for Terry broadcasted that game. Mm-hmm. And the coach threw a chair. Well, so I'm I'm gonna do you a big. Struck someone out. What? So you oh. struck someone out. And today we have sure. a special guest. Just walked in while we're studio. recording. No big deal. Man. All right, and, and start. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> you missed out on an exciting halftime show performance that you didn't actually miss anything from. Yeah, we basically had a... What was that, third walk-in? We had a, that was the second, second, second time. Walk-in. We had an alumni walk-in. He, walked in alumni. he was legitimately baffled <laughs> for a few minutes that we were actually recording because we're not using the traditional studio equipment for this. Mm-hmm. We're good now. I don't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about the UNWA... No, no I mean, wait, that's what he was talking about. Before. <laughs> walking now, we got past Walking Dead. We got past me eating the Snickers bar. Wait, We're talking it. about the uh, video game oh, night. Oh, ah, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And about Shinkle's uh, and sports yeah. so, and fall break. First one's going to be baseball. Second one's going to be football. And then I, idea is to get tidy sports. Um, <laughs> Dang, man. Hey, once uh, again, I, I can make an argument that esports is a legitimate sport, and I can't do that for NASCAR. So <laughs> okay, I feel as if we might as well. Just hey, your lungs have to be really. Let's good just skip this topic and go to my go to that debate. I, I don't. All right, here, here. What constitute a sport to me is it has to be a, a athletic competition between two or more people or teams, where you have a goal to complete, and it's either described by scoring more points or beating a. Time. Yeah, and golf does like really that. not be a sport then. If you're trying to score yeah. more points. Yeah. Uh, and what's your argument against wow. e- esports? You have a goal. What? What's your argument against esports? I, I'm going to say there's no. You don't need athletic ability. It's you not do. A what the hell do you know? However, e- I can see that you're going to. Esports uh, you know. uh, athletes, like professional ones, yeah. have hand eye coordination as good as like fighter pi- fighter jet pilots. So. I, I understand that. It's. Great hand-eye coordination. Yeah. But it's They're the same ones that if they were, you know, big and strong, would be hitting ninety mile an hour fastballs. Yeah, but so not big and strong. I could sort of agree with it. I mean, it's if we not not so athletic wise. Um, it's not necessarily it's muscular not or kind of flexibility way. or or um, strength or whatever the uh, the three things that define an athlete. Yeah. But you're still um, exercising a certain skill set and you're competing that same skill set with somebody else who has a similar skill set. So. If you consider that as a sport, um, it, 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 it's it's kind of tough because if if you consider sports um, defined as something that's that's doing that is athletic, then you may not consider esports into it because it, you're not exactly doing what football players are doing it's, in it's basketball not, and hockey. It's non traditional. I will yeah. give you that, mm-hmm. but they are physically their hand eye coordination and reaction time has to be. At the elite level, like I can hit a hundred mile an hour fastball, and but I mean they physically, you know, strength wise probably can't. Mm-hmm. But you can do that by holding what A and B down on Mario Baseball in hundred <laughs> yeah. mile. And their in their <laughs> technical capacity, they could. Yeah. Uh, as far as like working out and stuff, they do. Like you have to be in good shape. You have to be healthy to keep that level, that heightened level of ability to be able to do this. And as far as like practice goes, like. You may think it's just yeah. playing video games, but the way they play it is legitimate practice, and there's tons of strategy. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. But, I mean, being in physical condition definitely heightens any type of skill set, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, you can still complete a lot of tasks without without being, like, super strong. Um, but I, I definitely know what you mean. Like, mm-hmm. I think that there's a certain skill set with those e-sport players that is very respectable and something that I can never do. I know a lot of schools now are offering scholarships and stuff, saying, you know, you play LOL, come play for us, and we'll give you money. And I think that's cool. It's opening it up yep. to, oh, sure, big, strong LOL's athletes, so good big. classes. Mm-hmm. LOL's getting so big. And, I mean, I, I used to play it nonstop, and I just can't anymore. Like, the community on League of Legends is the worst gaming community out there. Like, they are just so LOL. mean. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about yeah. athletes? Do you consider them athletes? I mean, it rhymes with the athletes. Yeah, and, and, and I consider and, them and again, They're literally just. It is the word yes. athletes, but with N at the beginning. Never yeah. mind. Okay. And yeah, because they're, they're still exercising a certain skill set and they're competing. But that, 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 that skill set. So there's not as much of a physical aspect to it. There has to be. 
it, the definition right. of sport has a physical Well, do you aspect. think cheerleading is a sport? Mm-hmm. Yes, competitive cheerleading is a sport. I agree. High school mm-hmm. cheerleaders. If No, if you're just out there saying rah, rah, go team, that's not a For, sport. like, the football game. I always but like Competitive to, cheerleading is a sport. My sister was a competitive cheerleader. Like, that stuff's legit. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. my friends uh, was big in the competitive cheerleading. That's intense. But, like, when you're more like a over-certified spelling bee contestant when you're out there spelling L E T G O let's go like that's all I thought cheerleaders were and I hope cheerleaders aren't watching this because I probably have a big target on my back now but hey I can spell too <laughs> already got a big target since you're ginger so already so far I've made clowns mad at me and cheerleaders so well, you know you supported the clowns last week True. clown lives matter it's not clown <laughs> clown and they're out so, Brandon, what are you doing over fall break? What am I doing over fall break? Sleeping? Well, absolutely. Catching up on some sleep and um, be working on a couple projects, uh, long term projects for school, so that way I don't get so wrapped up in them in the last couple weeks of school. I'll be doing that. Um, enjoying time with my family. Uh, maybe seeing a couple friends I haven't seen in a few months uh, mm-hmm. since the summer. I'm um, definitely looking forward to that. And uh, you know, just, having, just having some fun, you know? Good. And working Wooson. <laughs> oh yeah, we have that Saturday game. You know we have WTA next Friday too. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I had already made, made plans to come home uh, Thursday evening so I can be there the whole day Friday and see my girlfriend. So and obviously do highlights. So um, yeah, de- definitely happy about that. Heard that. What well, about you, David? Uh, I'm just doing homework. I have so many like major projects, like being a senior, that I literally do not like have time to physically do these projects like during. A normal school week that I'm so happy we have a week off that I can do all five of these major projects that and I have to do. Catch up on because yeah, like I'm probably going to spend all day every day just working on stuff. And when mm-hmm. I finally finish those, I need to start looking for a job. And if I do that for a while, I'll probably start making an animation for the YouTube channel. Okay. Speaking of which, by the time this comes out, the first game show will have already come out. So, um, Brennan lost, guys. I lost really badly lost. too. <laughs> you did. I, dude, I gave you like extra, so many extra points at the end and added it all up. And I was like, nah, you still get you guys. Still so, lost. what were the teams? Brennan and. It was Brennan and RJ. It was okay. the, the GM of TV. And but the GM but, but of I was the anchor that weighed our team down because I'm terrible at the <laughs> on the spot, especially you with the alphabet. Are, because you had, like, you had words like planned for certain instances. Parent? <laughs> no, like when we got to Q, our two topics were animals and food, and he was like totally like quail. It works for both quail. I got this quail, guys, quail. And we got to Q, and and everybody's looking at Brennan, and he's just like, oh, man. And all of a sudden, he just goes, oh, quail. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I was always terrible at those games. Um, anything timed, I just get so worked up. And I can't think of what I'm supposed to You could to have had another point in charades if you would have stopped, if you would have stopped making fun of me and played the game. <laughs> That's How true. long is the, uh, is the show? <laughs> it's about 30 minutes. Wow, 30 minutes. Yeah. Again, he's not here. We can't have that talk. That's another thing. <laughs> we talked about the plurality argument. Of words, where yo. people say minute instead yo. of minutes. Don't understand it. Yo, yo, yo. But again, he's not even here for us to have the argument. Yo, our next uh, show. Podcast. Be, when, our next podcast will be after the Walking Dead is on. Will it? It will be. That's when this just turns into the Talking Dead Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> I I won't be surprised if it does. We'll have to sneak in something else at some point, but. At this point, I'm going to have to make an effort to watch this new season, even though I'm not caught up yet, just so I can join the conversation. I mean, so you, know how, what's going you on. know how season six ended at this point. Yeah. And then, yeah, you're caught up. <laughs> I don't really think you necessarily need to get caught up. Yeah. No? I mean, I know there was, was a whole lot bunch, of stuff that happened. There was a whole bunch of stuff leading up to they that. They just put everything on Netflix yeah. for season six. If you go back and watch that last episode, you'll just find out like who's with who, who cares about the other person, yeah. like what's happening. Where are they at? People. I, I know they got to a certain location, and something happened with a bad guy. The place blows up, and they all end, end, end up in the wrong hands. I mean, stuff blows up, people die. You don't mean blows up, blows up as like an explosion thing, as in a metaphorical sense of the situation. I, I, I mean both. Nothing like, exploded. 
A couple episodes before that, didn't that one Uh-oh. building that they were in? Well, I mean, they shot it up. Yeah. It yeah. Like, pop, didn't Daryl have pop. like a... Oh, that was a... Oh, yeah, someone, episode someone RPG'd the, uh, yeah. the oh. saviors that stopped Abraham. Was, oh, okay. So. Yeah. Good yeah, stuff. I, yeah, I haven't watched... I, I don't know. What, what season are we on? Seven. seven. Oh, okay. Seven. Yeah. I must have stopped like partway through season five for whatever reason, and then I just never got up to it. I can't believe we're already at season seven. Yeah, I know. I can't believe we're already at issue 160 of the comics. I can't believe stop. Game of Thrones only has two seasons left. Does it really? Yeah. Wow. And they're watched short episode for a long time. They're only like seven episodes each. <laughs> what? Instead of ten. Yeah. Wait, are they longer? Like, no. <coughs> the same length like episodes. So it's the same like fifty something. I mean, we're like we're basically we're winding down to the end of the story. Yeah. Everyone can pretty much kind of assume. It's most likely that the end of next season will be. Uh, Daenerys and Jon Snow coming together. To Spoilers the, again. This isn't even. This is speculation. Ah. This isn't even slightly a spoiler. Mm-hmm. It's Daenerys and Jon Snow coming together to take over King's Landing and Westeros. Okay. Uh, King's Landing is the capital. Westeros is the country. And yeah. then the the eighth season will be their battle against the uh, the undead. I can't think of. What? Gotcha. Yeah. The They're basically the smarter game of Thrones Snow zombies. Walking Dead. It's really cool. All right. Luke yeah. Cage on that. But see, I haven't seen it. Yet. But see, I'm okay with with having an ending like that because I I I, I, I like having a good quality story um, with with an ending. Yes, I think I think that's the. I mean, they have a planned ending mm-hmm. at this point, and it's a solid planned anything ending. I don't think people are going to be disappointed by it, no matter how it turns out. Um, R. R. Martin. Based on cinematography, the show's already one of the greatest ever. I mean, you could have a. At this point, it's like. Par ending is one of the greatest season finales, series finales of all times. Mm-hmm. That's par for them. Yeah. Like you could have below par, mm-hmm. and you still have one of the greatest series of all time. Yeah. Because I think one of the issues with a lot of shows um, is they go on for so yeah, long they, they don't know they, how they to end. They go on for, for for so long, and then they have planning. Okay, well maybe maybe we'll, we'll get to like season three or season four. What have you? It still gets so popular that they're like, ah, we'll keep this going a little bit. Yeah. And they keep going it's and going and going, and, and the quality crazy goes down with it. Heroes, and, uh, and 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 that's why I like shows like you know Falling Skies. Did anybody watch that? My friend Lo never watched watch that. I didn't even watch last season. It got so out of hand. It started yeah. off so good, and they got like just weird, totally sci-fi, like completely out of left field. Like it was just. Yeah. Did you guys see the new Power Rangers trailer? No, I did I not. I saw bits and pieces. Is, is, it like, yeah. like, is it more like a big kid thing? I don't know. Like, it looks like the kids that like become the Power Rangers are like all bad kids and like have Saturday detention. And then they go into some cave alien spaceship structure and get oh, these. Did any stones. of you watch Stranger Things? I'm uh, just gonna no, I, I started to and I just couldn't get oh into it. My, it moved too slowly. I watched me. eight episodes in two days. Yeah, it's even, so good. Even though they played D and D in like the first episode. It's based. It's yeah. It's just really good. I oh yeah, I'll, I'll be show. watching Netflix over break too. Just just add whatever you add. Yeah, I got some Luke Cage to watch. Yeah, I uh, I started watching the last season of Arrow because Arrow and Flash are on Netflix now, and I'm trying to catch up. It's good so far. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a big Arrow guy. Flash mm-hmm. is good, but like I was I'm a huge Arrow guy. Cool. Yeah, I liked Flash so much better than Arrow. I'm upset I haven't watched any of this season yet, and it came out last week, but still, it's a bummer. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to catch up and then try to actually like, keep up with like the CW, mm-hmm. like online. I, I'm not watching cable. I don't have time to watch cable. Yeah, I'm too busy doing this stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> it does. What else? Christmas is coming. No, <laughs> no Halloween is coming. Halloween what is you, coming. Shinko, what do you mean for Halloween? Talk about you know what? Halloween first. I have an idea. I I think we've been going on for a decent amount of time. So we could call this one and then just keep going for even if it's like really short, just you know, a little thing to put out next week. What time is it? What time is it? It's seven fifty four. Yeah, mm-hmm. we could do that. Okay. Alright, well, thanks for joining us for the WCTV Executive Vodcast. Uh, next week is fall break, so we're going to stick around and talk some more. So if you want to catch the rest, rest of this conversation, you can tune in next week when we release it.
See you.